Hey everybody. Um, okay, I want to show you the earrings that um, I've been making from soda cans. Um, these are completed earrings that I actually have in my um, jewelry box right now. These are mine that I've kept. Um, and then later in the video, I'm going to show you um, the cans before and then in the middle, the process where I keep them in a binder. Um, before I actually turn them into earrings, I'll show you that too. But right now, I just wanted to show you <clears throat> some of the ones that I keep in my um, my jewelry box so that you can see um, a few of the different designs that I make. These are all made out of soda cans. Um, the ones that are, are um, embellished a little bit is usually either with fingernail polish or scrapbooking um, uh, like raised stickers. But anyway, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Okay. This first pair right here, um, it's made from soda cans, and then I've got a few beads. And then the little ray sticker on the bottom is actually um, a scrapbooking sticker. And then I've got butterflies. I've got these round circle. Um, those are actually made from a Starbucks can. Those are popular. And then I have those right there. I wish you could see them better. And then I have these, which are just the little round one. They're actually a bigger one, a, a bigger earring. And they're made from the Arizona tea cans. And this one right here is actually a black can, and I have <clears throat> coated it in red, white, and blue sparkles um, fingernail polish. I thought these would be pretty for 4th of July, too. And... Then I have this pair, and I think that was some kind of um, Arizona tea can. So I have those, and then I have, um, let me see, okay, yeah, I have these two. I'm trying to separate them out so you can see the design. Um, I have these that I made out of the cans, and these are actually in a moon shape. You separate them out right there. And you can wear them either way with the um, the moon going toward your face or away from your face, whichever one. And then these are actually punched two different times and then put together with jump rings. So that's some other designs. And then I've got these, which um, I think are really pretty. Let me take them out of their pack because the glare. I sell them in these little packs like this when I when I sell them. I just happen to have these in a pack in my jewelry box. <clears throat> and I don't think I can get them out on hand. Okay, last night when I was showing you the ones that was in my jewelry box, um, my camera um, quit recording on me, so um, I brought these, I was going to show you these last night, but I brought these out here this morning so you could probably see them a little better anyway. These are some that I have made that are ready to sell. Um, I just thought I would kind of thumb through these and just so you can see um, some finished ones besides the ones that I had in my jewelry box. Now these are shimmery. Um, these have been painted with magnetic fingernail polish and then the magnet has been laid over it so it gives it that wavy effect. So that's why they look like that. And these are actually um, just plain metal with the little um, fingernail decals on top and I've clear coated them. They have little pink butterflies and pink flowers. <laughs> These are my daisies that I made. This was made out of, um, the actual petal parts was made out of a Monster Energy can. And the inside, the little centers of the flowers, were actually made from a Sprite can. 
Here is another pair. These are probably my favorite um, of the daisies. They're actually made out of a Monster Energy can, and it was made out of the part where, I don't know if you can see the writing, but like where it has like a little, I don't know, kind of like a little story or whatever on the side of the can. Um, they were punched out of that side, and then I have the little um, scrapbooking uh, raised little sticker part right here in the center. And here's some more round ones. And these are made from a Mountain Dew can, if you don't recognize them. For the Mountain Dew drinkers, I'm sure you recognize that can. <laughs> this one is made from the Rockstar Energy cans. I love these colors. Now this one is made... I'm thinking it was from a Rockstar Energy can also because the yellow on it was the, like the point of the stars and then I painted uh, glitter on the sides to give it just a little different shimmery look and then I clear coated it. And then these are the red hearts. These are po um, punched from a Coke can and then I jump, um, put jump hooks on them and hooked them together so they dangle. And you could really add as many as you wanted. If you wanted like four or five to dangle down, you could just keep adding them. These are so lightweight. I mean, you don't even feel like you're wearing any earrings. And I think that's that's what everybody kept saying that they like the best about it. You could wear a pretty good size earring and it don't even feel like you're wearing anything because they're just so lightweight. This is um, obviously it's made from Starbucks cans. <laughs> These are some Starbucks earrings that I made, and also the picture um, at the end, uh, you'll see another set of Starbucks earrings that I made for um, Candace for her birthday. But those are those. And here are some of the red Mickey Mouse earrings that I punched. And here is... Um, Arizona tea can and Monster Energy and then here trying to get it to dangle down here. These are made from um, the my favorite uh, Starbucks double shot espresso cans, the little miniature cans. Um, there's no paint or nothing on there. That's just the color of the can. I just think those are so pretty. I love that brown. But that is, um, that's what I have um, that's available right now. I just wanted to show you so you could kind of get an idea of all the designs that you can actually really do um, with the um, soda cans. If you've got any questions, just um, comment below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Um, okay, I'm downstairs now in my work area where I was making um, the jewelry from the soda cans. So I've kind of got my little workstation set up down here. Um, <laughs> I wanted to show you, um, since I've already shown you the earrings um, from my jewelry box, I wanted to show you what they look like before they end up in my jewelry box or before I sold them. Um, it all starts out with... Um, let me see if I can turn this around so you can see. Bear with me here. <laughs> it's not going to let me. I'll just bring it around this way. I hate doing this, but okay. Alright. Um, it starts out with these cans. Now, this is a uh, Monster Energy can. And you see this design. See how it's kind of got like a raised, um, I don't know, kind of like an um, embossed design. Um, these make really good earrings. Um, I use, you'll see in just a minute when I flip through my book of ones that I haven't finished yet. Um, these come in this um, white and I've got the blue, this kind of embossed looking, which is really pretty. Um, and then of course you know the Monster Energy cans that are black and green, black and hot pink. Um, they got black and like fluorescent color, but um, 
any of those make good earrings. I've got this can right here, and a lot of these weird tea cans you can find at like, um, I've noticed Big Lots carries a lot of these weird teas. Um, and it's this one. And I get these from my friends. They, once they knew that I was um, making jewelry out of them, I would get loads of cans all the time. And it's really cool because all these different um, pictures and things like that on it make for really good earrings because you can just choose um, an odd, like this sky, the blue with the stripes in it. I mean, that's a cute pair of earrings. Or this green from the tree or the yellow from this guy's shirt. I mean, you can just get really creative. But anyway, I've got a bunch of cans that um, I keep stocked up. And then I, um, I usually... I usually try to cut all my cans at one time, but just because it makes the whole process a lot faster, I'll cut the top and the bottoms off, and then I'll cut them straight down the middle. And if you're going to do something like this, make sure your hands are protected because this stuff is sharp and it will cut you. I know because I've done it many times. <laughs> you don't want to have bloody earrings. Um, <laughs> so I lay all my pieces out like that, and I usually will press them like in between a book or something until I get ready to use them because they want to roll up. Um, and then I'll take my punches, and I just go to, like, um, the scrapbooking aisle or whatever and find punches that mm, are not too detailed because metal's not going to punch well if it has a lot of small details, but um, just something simple. And then I go and I punch my um, design out on the, the can where I want to um, punch that part for the earring for whatever color that I'm... Um, aiming at like if it's the sky then I'm going to try it's it's hard because some cans have two exact same sides and some cans don't so really you need to make sure before you punch that you're going to be able to punch another one of the same if you want your earrings to be the same um, that's probably the biggest thing that I've ran into with a lot of those tea cans sometimes they don't have the same side like it's just one wrap side instead of like a coke can where it has coke on both sides but anyway, um, let's get into what you really want to see, which is the, um, the actual um, earrings. Um, I'm not really sure how to turn this camera around so you can see it good, because um, then I can't see what I'm showing you. But, um, let's see, maybe if I undo it and I just hold them up to you, you can see it. I'll try this. Okay, when I um, punch my designs out, I keep them in these little things that look like some people use them for coupons, but <clears throat> I think originally they're for um, like baseball cards or whatever. This is where I keep my um, designs. And you see I've got some flowered ones down there and some circled ones. You really can't see them. They're really pretty. They got have glitter on them. I actually paint these too. I got tired of just like the regular can design, so I took um, fingernail polish and the fingernail wraps, which, let me flip this over so you can see these. Um, sorry, I should have had these out, but I was thinking I could flip my camera around. Um, these right here, these fingernail wraps. Um, that you use just on fingernails. I just use them for um, wrapping my jewelry. Um, and I will coat them in a clear coat so that it seals it off. Um, if you notice in one of my pictures that I'm going to post at the end of this video of some of the ones that I have um, sold, um, there a lot of the ones that I've sold have been in this um, like cheetah leopard looking print. Um, or I wrapped the actual earring, um, the metal, and then sealed it off. Those, I would have never thought that those would have been so popular, but everybody was like, I need some more of those. This one lady, I think she ordered like three or four pairs. She had one, she got one for her sister, one for her mom. I'm like, wow, I didn't know these were going to be that popular. <laughs> but, um, the thing is, I had actually bought the, the actual wrap from, um, I think it was... I think it was Claire's, maybe. It was like a sellout thing, you know. They, once you bought it, that was it. So I, I had to switch and use a different um, cheetah or leopard print. 
and it didn't quite turn out the same. So they are one of a kind. They're, there's no two pair exactly alike. Um, so let me go back through this book here. I just want to show you a few of these that I have not completed. This is where I keep my uncompleted earrings. The ones that I've punched and gotten ready. Some of them are flat and they're not beveled yet. Um, those are the ones that are not ready. Um, I hope you can see these. These are the ones that's made out of the monster can that is um, black and silver. You see them right there? Sorry for that glare. Um, these are actually they're ready to be um, punched as far as like the hole goes for the jump ring and the earring wire. Um, these are ready. I have a ton of earrings that's in this binder that's just ready to be turned into earrings. Um, but I just haven't turned them in to earrings yet. So I definitely have a lot. Um, <laughs> if anybody's interested in them and you see a pair that you like on here, I can definitely turn them to earrings for you. But I just wanted to show you how these end up turning out. They're so pretty. I just love that um, embossed can. That just is so wild. You would never think you could get an earring that pretty out of a soda can. And when I say I make uh, jewelry out of soda cans, everybody assumes it's those little tabs, the little top tabs. I'm like, no, no, I don't make them out of that. <laughs> I just, I'm creative, but I'm not that creative. I don't know what all you could do with those things. Um, trying to flip through and just find the ones that I think are really because I would show you all of them but I cannot get my camera on here to flip the other way um let's see I do have um I do have some Mickey Mouse that I punched I had a um, Mickey Mouse punch that I borrowed from one of my friends, and these are done in silver. Um, they're the back side of the can because this front side of the can was the Arizona tea can, but I like these on the silver side. They're like Mickey Mouse. Those are really cute. I also had those in red, um, and I have those in a little bitty Mickey Mouse size for like little kids, for little girls. Um, let's see, let me try to find, okay, I have to show you these because, um, I don't know if you've seen the Rockstar Energy Cans, but these are made from the Rockstar Energy Cans, and I think they're cool, because they look 80s to me. Those right there, I love those. They're not exactly the same, but... There are enough that you can get by with using um, kind of a little bit of different design. Because like I said, that's one of those cans where you can't um, get it exactly the same. But I love those. I love anything that looks 80s. If you can't tell from every other video I did that I mentioned 80s, like my wild fingernail video. <laughs> okay. Let me show you one more. And then... Um, Okay, yeah, I can even show you these. These are pretty. These are made from, I think it's a, um, maybe a Welch grape soda can or something. It's some kind of grape soda, I can't remember. But these are in the teardrop, um, these are in the teardrop design. And I like those because it kind of looks like, um, a bandana pattern. Um, but they're really pretty. As earrings. I love those little purple design. I also have um, a crush can that I used um, that has a little orange crush design. Those are really neat. Um, let me see if there's anything else I want to show you before I. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is the one that is um, the crush design. Right here in the middle, you see where it's got like the orange look like like part of the orange inside. Those are really cool and they're really pretty for summer because, you know, naturally orange is a real pretty summer color anyway and those just look so, I don't know, just fun. Um, 
but I have a lot of those. I have got a huge bag of cans over here that I need to go through. Some cans that I've never even punched before, so um, they're going to be a whole new design. Um, I will tell you that besides the cheetah print, the other most popular kind has been my barcode earrings, and it's the craziest thing. Who would ever think that barcode earrings would be that popular? But I took and I punched the barcodes, and then I beveled this. And these have went like hotcakes. I mean, I can't keep these barcodes um, in. I mean, they do look pretty. And you can punch them to make the lines go this way, horizontal or vertical. And they look good either way. But that's just something that, I, that was surprising to me that that was that popular. Okay, I have... <laughs> I have kept y'all long enough looking at these, and I apologize for not being able to turn my camera the other way while I'm still talking. Um, I can do that until I start recording, and then it won't flip around. Um, but I will post some pictures um, at the end of this video of some of the earrings that um, I have completed and sold, just so you can get an idea. And I hope that you've enjoyed seeing this. Um, if you've got any questions or um, would like to learn how to do this, I could try to do a, a tutorial. Um, it's kind of hard where, because I use my iPod for my camera, so I have a hard time holding it and showing you something at the same time. But I would try my best to be able to, maybe Candace can come over and hold my video for me while I show you. Um, but if you're interested in doing this, it's fun and it's a good hobby and um, it's good to earn a little extra cash. Um, I usually sell my earrings for $3 a pair. And if I paint or do any kind of extra on there, um, I'll sell them for five just because I have to pay for the things that I decorate them with. So if you've got any questions, just um, comment below or send me a message and I'll be glad to answer them. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these and I will get a video out pretty soon of just my normal jewelry that I bought because I had to split my earring stash into jewelry that we've made jewelry that um our soda can jewelry and then my regular jewelry so my next video will be um the jewelry that i've made and that my sister's made so um i hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe if you haven't thanks bye <laughs>